I don't work in any special, specific mediums per se. Um, I would say that my work is project-based in the sense that each project dictates the form that, that the work um, would take. My name is Simon Leung. I live in Los Angeles and I went to school at UCLA and at Columbia University in New York. Well, the work that I'm showing are actually two different projects. The first is called War and Peace in the 70s and was made in 1993. The new work is called Artists in Residence, and the new work is a reflection on the old work. I think being an artist is a, is a really great way to live your life. I would advise you to develop a skill that you can, you can use, but I would also say that you owe it to yourself to just do what you really, really want to do, at least for you know, seven, eight, nine, ten years after you graduate. Because everything that is worthwhile, it takes a lot of effort and takes time. So I would not necessarily recommend rushing into anything, but continue to develop your work. Since I grew up in New York City, my parents had friends who were artists, and I had friends whose parents were artists. So I actually had a, a model early on of working artists. Hi, I'm Lincoln Tobier. I live in Los Angeles. This particular exhibition, which is called Roger Ailes, A Retrospective in Context, grew out of a couple of things, particularly my interest in, in like the mechanics of politics, which I've, I've had early on. And as a young artist, my interest in the nexus of aesthetics, ideology, and representation. Advice to artists still in school, don't waste too much time doing things that are not really important to you. I think I saw my task as a young artist, a young female artist, to, to bring these two traditions together. The investigations of sexuality and gender and identity and desire and fantasy that developed within feminist art in the 1970s and particularly in the the media of performance and video and film, and the research-based, site-specific interventions that reflected on social and economic structures, particularly in the art world, that developed within the work of artists like Hans Hacke and Michael Asher. My name is Joy Fraser. I'm currently a professor of new genres at UCLA. It's hard to kind of single out one piece of advice, but start a conversation or look for a conversation and get involved with that conversation. I think a lot of art students, and particularly now, go through art school and it's, it's sort of all about them <laughs> and their work, and they go out of art school looking for recognition and attention. And that's a terrible position to be in, actually, because it's very passive and you're waiting for people to notice you. I often give, especially undergraduate, but also graduate students, the advice of don't let yourself fall into that kind of passive position of waiting for attention. Create your own context. Start a reading group, start a study group, start a crit group, start an alternative space, start writing. That was my first sort of big break as a young artist. Uh, was an article that I wrote about Louise Lawler's work. It took me probably five months <laughs> to write it. It was extremely difficult, a tremendous amount of work, but it was how I entered into a conversation with people who then saw me as somebody to talk to and not only an artist who wanted their attention. So that's, that's my advice. Mm -hmm.